Hey, I'm Daniel Danielson, and this is my Manhattan Monologue success story. So, I went on Facebook, I saw the Manhattan Monologue Slam, I bought my 30-second slam ticket, and um, got to see a bunch of casting directors, a few agents. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah. Yeah, so after that, my friend went on to win, and after that, I was determined to win. So I was I was coming back. So I came back, I think maybe two months later, not right away. I came back like two months later, and then that night I won. So the best piece of advice that I got was from the, the previous slam champion, Ari Barkin. He told me straight up, if you're not going to come to the networking event prior to the slam, there's no need to come. So the most important thing for me was to get to that networking event, and I changed my schedule around and got to the event that night. So the way the show is actually structured is 6 p.m. is the networking party where you bring your headshots, your resume, you, you, you get to interact face-to-face, -face, communicate with the casting directors, the agents, the managers, whoever else is there, and um, then the, the actual slam starts at 7 o'clock. But 6 p.m. is the time to be there because that's when it all goes down. Yeah, so when you come to the networking party at 6 o'clock and you buy a drink, you get a free personal pizza, they're slamming, they're hot right downstairs, they're great, it's right on time, it's just what you need. So, I finally make it to the two minute championship set, which is excellent because, you know, that's the goal, and like, I did great, oh, I was awesome, and I lost. The girl came after me, I heard, I heard the crowd, like, going crazy, I was like, oh man. So I end up losing the two minute championship set, but not like heartbroken, just, you know, I didn't win, it was all good. But, bada bing, bada boom, I get I actually got called in twice from Richard Jordan. I got called in for a Scrubbing Bubbles commercial, it was a national network commercial, and got the call back for that. Didn't get the actual commercial, and then I auditioned for a role in a hip hop uh, rap music video, and flew down to Miami, you know, got the role. I did the audition over Facebook, a video chat on Facebook, got the role. The director booked me right away to be one of the leads in the in a music video where I'm like, uh, uh, we're running a slave revolt, and uh, I, I get to drown the slave master, and it's really cool. It's a great scene, it was really cool. It was a hot summer day down in Miami. Awesome time. Again, the, the most important thing is the networking. If you need an agent or you want to get in front of casting directors, you know, I've, been, I've gotten in front of Donna McKenna, I've gotten in front of Matt Maisto. Matt Maisto called me in for the new um, Vince Vaughn movie. You know, I've gotten in front of a bunch of casting directors, a bunch of agents. By the time it's done, they know my name, Daniel Danielson. They know me and they know my, you know, how, how good I am as an actor. So that's the most important thing. So it's not really so much about winning the monologue slam for me. It's about getting up on stage and really performing. And the performance is for the audience. You know, I want the audience to feel, you know, the energy. So when the casting directors are watching, the agents are watching, even if they don't use me or whatever, they'll remember the energy that I brought to the stage. That's important for me. The Manhattan Monologue Slam, whether you perform the 30 seconds or the two minute championship round, is the best place to get exposure in New York City, hands down. There's no Monologue Slam like the Manhattan Monologue Slam, and I'll tell you why. Every other Monologue Slam that you go to will try to emulate the Manhattan Monologue Slam. They'll never do it. The energy in the crowd by itself, you know, not to mention Phil acting crazy on stage and getting everybody riled up. Larry, he's, his monologues are sick, you know, so, and the other actors, the competition amongst, it's not just competition, but competition and camaraderie amongst the other actors in the room. So when you get your opportunity on stage, you really want to perform. You're, it's, it's the best monologue slam to be in, in Manhattan. So, I come back a third time. Do the 30 second monologue, I win. Come back for the two minute um, championship round, I win that. So, you know, I come back because I want to perform new material in front of new people. I want to show that, listen, I can do this. And, and it helps me. It helps me strengthen my, uh, my instrument as an actor So you know, and my confidence. So I'm rocking and rolling. So now I win it. So I win trophy, Manhattan Monologue trophy. <laughs> I win free headshots with R.J. Lewis. Check them out. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Um, what else? Oh, the free class, acting class at um, New York Casting. And got two tickets, Yankees, at the Mohegan Sun Sports Bar in center field. So I'm going to be at the game Saturday just chilling, watching the Yankees doing their thing, beating the heck out of the Orioles. It's all good. Center field, Mohegan Sun Sports Bar. Doesn't get better than that, baby.
Yeah, and then the opportunity to go into the Slam Super Bowl. So, listen, I'm excited about it. But hold up, there's one other thing. This is what I believe. So, and this has happened ever since I started coming to the Manhattan Mind Law Slam. What it is, is I'm putting out positive energy as an actor. Like, what I'm searching for as an actor, I'm putting that out there because I'm coming to the Monologue Slam with confidence and it's coming back. So I booked a leading guest star role on Mr. Robot. Um, after I won the championship round on the Manhattan Monologue Slam, I got called by one of the managers, Avenue B. So I just started freelancing with Avenue B for management. Um, got an audition on Monday for the Blacklist. So listen, I got good karma going on. So this is the real deal. Like I said, probably the biggest thing about it is the energy that's in the room at the Manhattan Monologue Slam is unparalleled. You're not gonna get that anywhere, any other Monologue Slam in the city but Manhattan Monologue Slam. So come on down, you'll see, you come on down.